Hi, I'm Dorcas. In this video, I am going to show you four different ways to resize pictures using pixlr.com slash e or pixlr e, which is the new replacement for pixlr editor. Uh, the good news is that pixlr e is really easy to use. Um, it's even easier to use than pixlr editor. It's free. You don't need to download anything. You just go to pixlr.com slash e in the browser. You don't need to sign up. Um, it's so, so good. It's almost like a free version of Photoshop. So um, the reason why you want to learn this is because maybe you have a website and the example I'm going to use here is um, let's say we have a website, we want to put a slideshow or a slider on the homepage of our website and we've already figured out that the right dimensions we need for the website and um, for the image I should say on the website are 1800 by 500. So it's with 1800, 500 is the height. We always say width first and then height. If you want to know a little bit about the basics in terms of resizing pictures, you should watch the first few minutes of my previous video um, about Pixlr Editor, which is here. Otherwise, um, keep watching here and I'll show you the four different methods. These are four different methods to do the exact same thing. So you can watch and then pick the one that you like best. They're all just as good as one another. So let's click into pixlr.com slash e, then open image find the image from your computer. So I'm going to click on the biggest size, hit apply. This picture here, by the way, I got from pexels.com. So there's a link to that in the description below this video. Um, so here we have the image open. You can see the dimensions are way too big at the moment, 2560 by 3840. I should say at the moment that um, it's really important to pick a picture that is bigger than what you want. You can always make a big picture smaller, but you can't make a small picture bigger because it, it will go grainy, it will go pixelated. You won't be able to get the same quality out of it. It just won't look so good. So you can make bigger, smaller, that's good. So the dimensions are bigger, which is good. So now we're going to get the width correct first. So we go to image, image size. I'm gonna put in the width type out 1800. The height changes proportionally, that's okay for now. Hit apply. So now you can see the image uh, dimensions there, the width is 1800, the height is something else, which we're gonna fix them now. Now we click on the crop tool. So you can see here, when you click on the different tools, they all have a different little menu up the top there. Um, and of course we want the crop tool. So we click on the crop tool, we click on ratio, type out 1800, type out 500. And you can see here, I can drag around this box. So let's just say, for example, I want maybe this. Hit apply and just check to make sure over on the right hand side there that it is 1800 by 500. And now if you're happy, save it. So you go to file, save. This is where um, your search, your search, if I spell it correctly, your search terms go here. Um, as in, you're renaming the picture with uh, keywords or search terms in order to help Google understand this picture. This is what you're doing for search engine optimization. Um, next thing, JPEG. JPEG is better for photographs. You would choose PNG if you were editing like a logo file or a picture with a lot of text, like a poster. JPEG is generally better for photographs quality here you can play around with this yourself so you'll see as you change the quality the format um, size or I should say the, the file size changes and you'll notice that it doesn't change linear, linearly um, so for example at 100 um, here you can see it's on the file size is all, almost a meg whereas um, for example if we choose 41 you can see it's at 11k whereas up oh, at around let's say here it's at 26 so you can play around with that yourself to see how it's not linear. I recommend you go at 80% because at 80% um, the quality is obviously not 100%, but the human eye probably isn't gonna notice the difference between 80% and 100%. However, you can see here the file size is really, really small comparing to what it was at 100%. So for example, here it's just 41 versus 913. So massive difference there. The reason why we care about file size is because the bigger your image, the longer it'll take to appear on my screen, let's say, when I visit your website. The smaller the image, in terms of the file size, the faster your page will load, the happier your visitors will be, but also the happier Google will be. As in, the faster your page loads, the better for a search engine optimization. Your website will rank better if your page loads faster. So search terms JPEG 80%, 
just double check or triple check the dimensions, hit download and save it onto your computer in the place where you're going to find it again. So that's method one. Now let's do the second way. So I'm just going to close this and start again. Open image. Let's use the same image each time. So again, I'm going to choose the biggest version, hit apply. Now this time I'm going to start with the crop tool. So earlier we did image and then crop. Now we're going to do crop and then into the image. So you'll see crop. Let's choose the ratio 1800 by 500. Drag the box around as before. So I get it where I want. Maybe this time I want it here. Now I hit apply. You'll see the um, dimensions there. So they're too big, but they are the right ratio, which you'll see here in a moment. When I click image, image size, change the width to 1800. And of course the height is 500. Hit apply. Double check over here that it's correct. And file, save, put in your search terms, JPEG, change this to 80%, download and save onto your computer. Next option we're going to go with is third way. So file, close, open the image again, open the big image, hit apply. This time I'm going to start with the crop tool and in the um, width here I'm going to put in 1800 height 500. So now I have a box that is exactly the right dimensions. So I'm going to choose where I want. Maybe this time I just want a sky. So I'm going to hit apply. Check the dimensions, they're correct. File, save, and search terms. Blue sky. JPEG, quality 80%, hit download, and that's done. And now for the last method, we're going to close this up again. And now I'm going to open the image as before, same image. This time I'm going to actually type out here the first correct dimensions I want. So now I have 1800, hit apply. You can see I have the correct width now, but not the height. So even um, you can see just as I'm coming into the image, as in it's just opening up, we already have done the first step, which is a really good thing you can do in Pixlr E. Now we go to crop tool and ratio 1800 by 500. Move it around till you get where you want. Hit apply. Check the dimensions are correct, which they are. File, save, search terms, JPEG, 80% and then download. So there you have it, four different ways to resize pictures using pixlr.com slash e. If you have any questions or any comments at all about anything related to this video, just ask in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Bye.